Hello! I'm back! Did everybody have a fantastic weekend? I'm gonna wait a few minutes, I know, as we hop on because I'm on my schedule and had some unannounced guests here today and getting their bead fix in. How about you guys? Did you guys uh, have a fantastic weekend? It was a little bit rainy, but it turned out nice because it cooled things down. It was hot, but then it would rain a little bit and we continue we continued on the day. I still enjoyed a full four day weekend and I know a lot of you guys saw that I totally couldn't help myself. I had to pop some beads on there. I was sorting through beads. I was counting through beads and I thought I just had to share it with you. I might as well do it if I was doing it. So even though I know I have my time off, I still love playing with beads. It's kind of my, my hobby too. Okay, so let me let me give a shout out to you guys. Hey Rachel, hey Kathy, hey Julie. Um, hey Rachel, your order is coming on the way, so thank you for your patience. Uh, you're awesome. And hey Ann, how's it going today? Did you get some good rest? Are you enjoying those rocks you just got? Oh, you guys liking the necklace? Should we do a little necklace dissection? Because I know you guys uh, enjoy doing that, you know? And that's why I was going to actually slip in. There was, um, tell you about my weekend. It was awesome. Jonah is officially six. He's big, he's huge, he's beautiful, and I can't push pause, so I had to spend every second with him. So um, thank you guys for hanging out, and uh, take, hopefully you got the day off too. But I know a lot of people are getting back to work. So I know it's kind of like off on week, off week, on week. So as the slow rotation uh, happens and we get easing back into the new norm, um, I know that you know we're getting different people in the afternoons, uh, getting after replays and, um, and kind of getting to the new groove, which whatever that is, right? Um, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to coming online to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and saying, oh my God, I got to get my, my face on. I got to get my nails done. I got to be looking all primped and pretty for you guys. Ah! <laughs> but I made it. Okay. So we've been playing with a lot of guy stuff. Um, and I don't know, did you, are you guys excited? Because I'm going to be showing you guys a sneak peek of some of the things for Friday Night Live too, you guys. So I wanted to, I thought Tuesday is a good day for like tips and technique Tuesday. So um, I thought I'd go over because we've been playing with leather and you know what? I'm just like oozing and leather and it's all over my table. And so I thought maybe I'd go over a little slip knot. But before we do that, I guess we're gonna do a little necklace dissection. So let me uh, get undressed for you guys here. <laughs> oh, good Pam, you got, got my order. <laughs> I try to wrap them each like a little present. So each time you take those out, then you're like, oh, what is that? I forgot I ordered that, right? <laughs> hey, Nicole. I got some goods here for you, I feel like. I'm going to see you tomorrow, right? All right, so, hey, Elaine. Hey, guess what? I kind of found L. We'll talk about it. But I've got your stone stash, too. So I did kind of find L. All right. For those that are joining, I was wearing this lovely necklace here today. I'm going to flip around and we're going to do a little uh, design dissection, okay? So this is what I was sporting today. So we'll talk about design. Let me hold it up so you guys can see it. You haven't missed anything yet where we're just talking about what a fabulous weekend it was, enjoying Father's Day, uh, enjoying, enjoying Jonah. My sister's birthday went really well. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Oh, Patty, you had a box just like Pam. So going through all your little presents too, I tried to wrap those up. All right, so we're taking a look at this. I'm just kind of glazing through so you can kind of see all the different elements and then I'm gonna kind of do a little design dissection because this is a lot of what you guys know. So all of the uh, tips and techniques that I've been showing you guys right here online, you know how to do this, okay? So let's, let's dissect. All right, so this is actually a three strand necklace. Okay, so let's... Let me try to see if I can pull this apart just a little bit. Okay, so this is a three-strand necklace. Let's see. All right, so can you see three strands? I guess technically it's a fourth strand because one strand are these crazy little, I think, okay, for you guys knitters, crocheters, okay, uh, eyelashes. I believe that this is called like eyelash thread. Anybody able to help me out? I don't know the actual technical term. I'm not in that field. 
<laughs> but uh, kind of that, you know, really fun cording. Okay, and if you take it and do a little, uh, I think you can do a light crochet, okay, to thicken it up, or you could braid it, okay, because that's what we ended up doing with these three strands. So we want to take three, three long strands, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some beads. We carry these seed beads, and this is perfect. So if you have some of like the, your leftovers, this is great. You're going to take like. Let's see if I can show off one strand here. But you'll see that it's like a little bit of everything. So there's pearls, there's some little seed beads, and all in different color sets. And if you have problems making those color sets, there are these awesome little tubes by Toho. And they're called mixes, okay? And you'll see in that mix, you'll see I have them in different colors, so I'm kind of showing you what this color set is. So if you kind of like making something like this, I, I technically have some of the components to make it, okay? But you'll see in here, I brought a lighter color because you'll see there's something called a bugle that's like a stick and then all different sizes and shapes of beads and making your mix. So sometimes this is a great start and then you can add some pearl, you know, um, it's just helpful so you're not having to buy full tubes, okay? So then you take three strands, all strung out, Okay, and then you braid it. Okay, and at the end, when you, where's my end here? Okay, you're gonna braid it, and then when you get to the top here, you're gonna hook it onto that wire. So if you'll watch the episode where we're talking about cones and hooking them into cones, okay, that's all you're doing here. Okay, so you can start with this part here. Okay, then you can have your three strands flowing out. Okay, and then you're simply braiding it. Okay, and then and then it naturally will hold it all together, okay? And so then we just made it extra long, had a nice stars clasps on there. Okay, and it hooks on. Dun, 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 dun. So that's this necklace that I'm wearing today. Is it dressed again? <laughs> all right. And this is what it looks like on. So I was wearing wearing this look long, but it's obviously long enough that I can double it up. Kind of makes things a little fancy, right? Right? The jailhouse look. I don't normally wear stripes and stuff, so, but I wore it because I have those really awesome beads I'm excited to show you guys. So I'm gonna do a little slip knot so we can do the tip and techniques and then we'll do a little playtime with some beads, okay? All right, so you guys know that you see a lot of these little bracelets or you see a little pendant and you know, we what I've been showing you in a lot of the uh, past videos is just doing a simple overhand because it's very simple. But you know, not all knots are created equal and some look better than others and we wonder how do they make that knot look so good or you want to have like that sliding knot. So oftentimes you'll see something like this where there's a bead in the middle, maybe you're gonna have these, uh, what is called a barrel knot, it's like, you know, a sliding knot, and then it just crosses over to here. Okay, so I was just messing around, I was just doing a bead here, okay, so I could give you a sample. Okay, so one, I'm gonna show you how this, uh, this barrel knot is made, okay, with just the leather, okay, and then I'm gonna show you a little trick what this tube can do to help us. Okay, are you ready? All right, so for all of you guys like swimming in some leather, I'm just gonna take a couple pieces here right now, just so I can show it to you. So I just need one piece here, and I guess it doesn't need to be all that long. Okay, for all intensive purposes. We're gonna do two so that if you are trying to, okay, so we're gonna do something like this, and I'm gonna flip this around and you can, can see. Make sure if you guys have some questions or you can't see something or you want me to, you know, answer a question, please let me know, okay? I am I am reading these comments and hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll catch it, okay? So this is kind of, this is kind of the end knot is what we're going for, okay? And you'll see like, you'll see that this is also probably known as a sliding knot, so you can actually slide this purple one back and forth yes so you see it's it's very it's knotted and it's stuck on there but yet it seems 
to have just enough tension. Of course, if you tie this too tight, it, it, it will be very hard to slide this. So if you ever have like those necklaces and bracelets, all of a sudden it seems so hard to squeeze it, was because this knot, kept, we kept tightening it and then tightening it onto here and then it's no room, okay? So we're choking it, so. And it's hard to loosen these once you've gotten it so tight. So, you know, you wanna keep it loose. So keep that in mind as we're doing this, okay? So I'm taking two pieces, you guys. I'm gonna do a black and a kind of a green thread. Can you guys see that? Okay, I wanna make sure you guys can tell the difference because I know that it can be hard uh, seeing it on, on screen, okay? So I'm just using this as a base, okay? And then I'm gonna uh, make that barrel knot onto this black cord, okay? So normally this is where it's nice that you can have lots of extra hooks and things, but you know, the old school way was, you know, we're doing all things by hand, okay? So I've got these two threads. I'm gonna have one that's, you want a lot of extra length, okay? So when we're doing anything with barrel knots, you are gonna want more leather than you think you're going to need, okay? Yeah, you like that bead? I have that bead for you, Mary Jo. We'll leave that right there for you. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this back here, okay? So I'll, you'll see I have the end here and I'm just, looping this back so now it looks like I kind of have three three strands here okay but essentially I'm taking this strand this one that I just brought back and I'm going to be wrapping the other ones around and I'm going to see if I can show you right here where the looping is here okay so I'm holding all three can you see that and I'm going to take this top one and I'm going to wind it okay now the problem with doing this is that it's hard to keep the tension perfect because what I need to do is I need to keep this open enough, okay, because I'm creating a tunnel with this leather, okay. Hey Rita, we gotta get your little order to you, okay. And I see I'm wrapping, but see I'm holding this tight enough where I can see those cords coming through, okay. But I once I've gone, I'm going three wraps, kind of like a wire wrap, okay on three but I'm holding that all like a spring okay we're holding like a spring around these other two okay and then I'm gonna go back through this tunnel here okay is what we're trying to do and then you're pulling this all taut so now I'm still trying to hold this hold this right and we're trying to like hold the world together and you think god this is so hard right but but that's what makes your barrel knot oh I think I just I pull this through. Oh. Might have pulled through the loop there. Okay, but you're gonna slide this on. This that should tighten up there. Oh, I need it to roll over. Just keep tightening. Okay, and pulling that. We've got ourselves a barrel knot. And you can see it's hard. I'm trying to hold this. I'm trying to pull this. And trying to do all that. And I don't know about you, but that's not easy, right? So people who are thinking, wow. Well, well, no wonder people don't make that knot as often, right? But I have found that this tube right here, okay? Now this tube, I'm just, you could do a straight tube, but I just happen to have a curved tube, curved tube. But the most important thing is that this goes through here, okay? So whatever you're cording you're working with, you just wanna make sure it goes through here. So in this case, I'm using two millimeter. I could certainly do this a lot smaller, okay? So now I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so I've got my two ends, okay? He had a fantastic birthday, Rita, thank you for asking. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. So I have the black cord as my base. I'm gonna have this green one and I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? But this time I'm laying my cords here. But watch this, you guys, this is so awesome. We're gonna take this little tube and I'm gonna hold it too with all three, okay? But this time, I'm gonna start wrapping, if you'll see, I'm wrapping here. Actually, I want a little bit more cord. Let me work myself down here a little bit more. Okay, so I'm further down here, okay? So I'm just taking my green cord, okay? And I'm wrapping like I was doing before, only I don't have to hold anything. I'm just holding all of this through. So I'm holding this black, this green, and then the tube in place as I wrap this green one around. Look at that, okay? So it's just like I was having to hold everything before, but now I have this tube right there. Check it out. So you see I have the th three wraps and then I'm gonna stick. I love this trick, okay? And we're gonna stick that right into the tube here. 
Okay, and then we're gonna pull the tube and the leather right out, okay? And then we're gonna tuck this all into place and we have ourselves that barrel knot again, okay? And it's nice that it starts out loose as we make the adjustments of exactly where you really want it to be, okay? And it shifts and you can pull it tight as we work out that perfect barrel knot. Okay, so great tube. You know, I guess uh, you can find anything that is kind of uh, small and similar. We we do carry we do carry tubes. <laughs> okay, so you can imagine if you do a bead, you're going to do one barrel knot. So if you're doing it on itself, in this case here, we can. Or let's shall we do like a. I guess we could make a necklace, right? So I could take a long piece. Oh, you know, I have some things laying around here. What do you guys think? Should I maybe like tie one of these pendants on there? These are cool, right? These are these Greek patina beads. And yeah, Rita, you could totally use a straw, but the straw's gotta be kind of sturdy because if you pull it too tight, then it squishes the straw and then maybe you won't be able to get your cord, cord in there. But, all right, and we have this, we could have these like cool replica, like little Greek coins that are neat. Maybe I'll tie one of those on a necklace just so we can do this uh, barrel, barrel knot. Okay, so let's see. Let me just take, I'm gonna take a long piece of this. What do you think? Maybe I'll take this bigger one. Okay, and then we could tie it up. We can tie one of those knots right up here. Plastic straw works. <laughs> Oh, that's good to know. Like I said, you just want it to probably be pretty sturdy. Okay, so uh, let's just make a quick necklace, maybe with like an adjustable ending. Shall we do that? So it's gonna be upon itself. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna literally gonna slide this necklace on. Okay, in this case, I think that the way this necklace is, is that I, um, I'm not gonna tie a knot right here. I'm just gonna let it slide and then we'll make it the adjustable in the back side of the necklace, okay? So let's take a look. We're gonna go, I want it to hang kind of long, so I'm just holding it up here to myself. I've got myself about a, a foot on each side, so this is uh, two feet, okay? And then you need some extra, so I would say, I would end up using a yard and a half if I, if I was making this, okay? So I'm gonna take these ends, okay, and I'm gonna cross them, okay? I have one long cording right now, okay? So now I'm at the back of my necklace, I'm at the two feet mark, okay? And I'm just gonna even hold it out there a little bit longer for good measure because we are making that this is adjustable, okay? So we're gonna do that same thing. Where's my, I lost my little tube now, right? <laughs> so we're gonna put this tube on there, I'm gonna wrap three, three times, boom. And I like to wrap toward my finger this way, okay? So that when I pull through the tube, it's coming out this way, okay? So I've got my three wraps here. Slide this through, and then we'll repeat the process on the other side, okay? So pull that through, tighten this knot a little bit. But it's a great little trick. Okay, and then we're gonna do, now we've done one. Now I've got, gonna see, we've got this extra one over here. We're gonna do the same thing on this other side. Okay, and I've got all these cords hanging around. Where'd my two go? Oh, it's still on the, <laughs> still on the leather here. All right, let's pull that out. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the process here. Flip it around for myself and I'm just doing this cl close because this is as long as we want it to be okay and take those two cords take that one that's not part of the necklace okay and start wrapping so I start on this side then I'll, I'll grab on here so I can hold that one in together okay you can pull that tight like that put it through here and it just makes things just a smidgen easier, okay? Pulling that tight again, we've got here, all right? And then we're 
gonna have these sliding knots. Dun 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 dun, look at that. Okay, so that makes it adjustable. What do we think of that, you guys? All right, so here's the necklace, okay? So I have those adjustable knots right here. Okay, we see that on necklaces all the time. I guess I can take this one off here. Okay, and I can decide. Hey, buddy. Okay, so I can decide I want it short. And so because I didn't put any knots close to the necklace, I could probably get this so it was short enough so that the knots almost came to, came to here. So on its shortest, it looks ends up looking really good. Can't feel my string right now, but but kind of gives you the idea here. Okay, so then you could it ends up having those knots and looks doubled, and then you could take off the necklace right here, keep it long if you want a longer version. Okay, and then opened up all the way to this longest version, right? So where the knots are almost touching each other, whoop, and lost it down the shirt. <laughs> okay, so then I can have a long one. All right, and then you just cut off these ties and there's no need to put any glue on this, you guys. Don't put glue on this because if you want it to slide, you don't want it to stick, right? Okay, so <laughs> don't glue it. All right, there's your slip knot. Easy peasy, all with a little tube. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Who likes that technique? Let me see some hearts, let me see some love. All right, shall I double this one up? kind of like it long. We're going to go long. And now, you guys want to know what I'm excited about? That that's a great technique. I guess I could have used, do you guys want to see something? Ready, ready, ready. Oh, one little announcement, you guys. Thank you for tagging me. Thank you for creating. Thank you for continuing to create. Okay, so don't forget, I was off for a Friday, but that does not mean I have not been watching your posts. So, you have your still your chance to win, okay? We've got a bracelet, we've got a pair of rainbow earrings, okay? So you need to post your projects if you wanna know how to win, is I'm giving away things usually every single week of, especially things that I make here on Bead With Me, okay? And so you can win this by posting, something that you've been creating, okay? Things that have been inspiring you, we wanna see it. So make sure you start, tag Stars Bees, that way that I can see it too. We can also share it with everybody. And that is your official chance uh, to win one of these, okay? And I choose those every Friday night, uh, uh, Friday night on our Friday Night Live at 8 p.m., okay? And that's when I'm showing off some, some fun stuff. And that's what I thought we should do a sneak peek. What do we think? Do we want to get a sneak peek? Did anybody see the sneak peek video? What's that? Yeah, come over. So I told Lisa that she really needed to see these beads because I was wearing this and, okay, we want to go back to retro age, you guys. Check it out. So I've got some cool uh, Italian uh, resin. These oh, wow. are really cool. Okay, so check these out, you guys. Great earrings, great necklaces. Uh, so these are, so I'm gonna show these this way a little bit, because I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Okay, but that wasn't even what I was totally excited about, yeah. because wait for it, wait for it. Okay, I'll leave these in the photo here. All right. Awesome, oh my God. These are wicked, you guys, look at this. These are smashing. I am so psyched right now. Like, I just opened up, and you know, Patty and Pam, you know I love those open goodies, but this is, there are some awesome colors. There are some, and you know what? They're, they're very limited. I don't have a whole ton of these, but these are some of the bees. Oh, and then there's awesome, look at this. My husband actually, Already got first dibs on this a lot. <laughs> well, look at this, you guys. Look how that lays in there. And this is a beautiful resin. Okay. But look. Look at that on the side here. Okay. This is a quick intro. Check it out. All right. I'm giving you sneak peek, but I have limited ones. And so you guys are going to have to get in early on Friday Night Live. But that's a little bit of color. Oh. 
And Lisa, no, you're not done. <laughs> you had to see these ones. Look, you're you love these. Look at look at these. these okay, these. Oh, and wait, look at these. Look at these. Okay, so I literally just opened my box, and that's what it looks like. Are you size? Because do we remember like Mickey and Minnie and you know those big old look? That does this not like totally look like them? <laughs> Okay, so that was the inspiration for my, my uh, black and white today. Hair. Okay, <laughs> exactly. All right. All right, where's my mermaid girl, okay? You can make the hair ties that uh, do these, okay? <laughs> All right, anyway, that, that was super exciting, and I, I, I'm excited to, to show these off. So this is what I've been playing with on my uh, days off. I'm going to be doing probably a little project with these um, in the next couple of days, okay? They are big, but they are big and they are beautiful and I love it. Okay, so I, I just think this ring is awesome and you don't even need to, and they're light. Okay, so this is where you get those big look with a, the light design. Okay, and you can see uh, like this one looks like abalone. This one is, um, look at that. All right. So I'm just totally, I am just totally teasing you guys, okay? But if there's something, I don't know. I guess I could start. But it's kind of fun for a Friday. I have other things for Friday Night Live, too. They're beautiful. And, oh, and, oh, I just have to show these off because they make me happy, all right? Look at these. I think they're so beautiful. Look at this. Look at the colors. Old school. Okay, so this was this was that box I was showing off. And of course anybody who likes to sparkle, she also even has like these um look at these squares here. I thought these were neat. Check it out. This is like an unveiling here, kind of unpacking. You get to unpack with me. But check it out, look at that. Goes with this. Yeah. Mary Jo, you like that? And then boom, look at that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I guess it's the same color on the back side. Now these ones will come in sets, but if you're willing to go for like two sets, you could see how throwing in another color in here. Maybe let's see what else I have. There's not a ton of choices of color, but look at that. Okay, and then you can imagine when they're on a, on a piece of wire, they're going to be spinning. Maybe I'll make that. <laughs> what do you think? They're totally fun. So that's a little sneak peek of the beads that I'm playing with and trying to get prepped and uh, ready for Friday Night Live. What do you guys think? Huh? <laughs> but boy, I just, I just think they are so pretty. I've been uh, messing around. I've, I was going to do one on the bottom of the leather, but I I kind of forgot. And then I, I had these other pendants just sitting sitting here for uh, to show off to you guys. So, all right, y'all. It was awesome. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for joining me as always. And we'll see you again tomorrow. And we're going to be going to check out what Lisa's doing. She has uh, something fun. I went over there um, just a couple of days ago, uh, last week, and I was uh, buying these little crystal uh, squirrels. And she has this really, really awesome design. And I asked if she would be willing to show how it's done. Okay, so another great, I'm doing a lot of great leftover pieces. Okay, so it's summertime. We want to upscale all of that stuff. So it's kind of getting those, you know, quick little pendants that we haven't gotten, you know, made. Let's just get them onto something and throw them around your neck and get to sporting them because it's summer, y'all. We get to show some skin. We get to show some color. We get to show some jewelry, right? <laughs> awesome. You guys have a good rest of the day. Come join me tomorrow, okay? And... We'll play with Lisa next door. And I also want to see what's on your wrist, okay? I couldn't give this one away because I ended up liking it so much, okay? So, <laughs> and I'm getting these kits out to you guys too. So this is the um, black Rolo kit, if anybody is interested, because I'm, I'm becoming a kit maker too, little did I know. So have a great day, you guys. We'll see you again tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Thank you.